glue on my teeth. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to create a beautiful, perfect, professional thumbnail for your YouTube videos using your iPhone. I will put in the description box below if I find out you can use this on Android as well, but I will have to check with these apps, whether or not they are on both phones or just iPhone. So if you are interested in seeing how I create my thumbnails, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing very similar to what I did on with my um, editing video with my iPad. I'm going to overlay the actual recording of me creating a thumbnail so you guys can still see it while I'm talking. However, if you do see my face and I'm talking, please excuse my teeth if they look like they're blue because I have actual shadow on top of this dark blue lipstick and it continues to keep rubbing on my teeth. So, Let's ignore it if we see it. All right, so first things first, you're going to need an iPhone. I do have an iPhone XS Max. I believe that any newer iPhone will work for these. So it is a couple of apps that I use, but first we're gonna talk about from front or from start to finish on how I create a thumbnail. So the first step is to take the photo. Um, if you do not have a camera, if you don't record on a camera, that's fine. You can take your photos with your phone. I urge, 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 urge you not to take a screenshot of the video and create that as a thumbnail. Just take the photo with your phone. If you're already recording on your phone, after you're done recording, just snap a photo. It's clean, it's way more clear, it's not a lot of noise, and it looks a lot better and it's easier to edit. So after you take a couple of photos, make sure you sit down and you pick out which one has the best view of what the video is about or what you want to kind of portray across because remember they're gonna see your title and they're gonna see your thumbnail so your click-through rate actually depends on those things how often your videos are clicked on obviously and those are gonna be by your title and your thumbnail they cannot see your video until they click on it so you want your thumbnail to pop so usually I will do like a uh, or a a surprise something I am still working on doing more like variety of them I know some people use green screen some people will copy and paste and put the makeup across the thumbnail as they're editing I don't prefer to do that I think it's a lot of noise there's a lot of mess going on so I just do like to get a nice clean shot of me a clean shot of the background try to make sure all of your junk is out of the way sometimes if I'm doing an unboxing or something I will forget it's back there but for the most part just make sure it's clear the lighting is good and you look good and you're really grabbing your audience attention because if you're just over here in the corner they're gonna be seeing mainly screen so make sure you're center in there you're making a good face you're smiling you're doing something to grab their attention so now that we have that out of the way we're gonna go to step number two once you have the photo you've selected you're gonna go into any editing app but the editing apps that I use are Facetune and Lightroom so I use Facetune just as a smooth over I don't really edit a lot of makeup or anything like that in Facetune when it comes to my thumbnails I will use that obviously on photos for Instagram and stuff like that to do some retouching but not on my thumbnails I just basically do like a one over like a smooth a little bit anything that might stick out that's kind of eh or really just gross to the eye and then the Lightroom app that I use is actually for editing the way that the light is on the photo so if I feel like I took a picture and the photo I took is just it's perfect in every way but the lighting isn't right the brightness the contrast whatever it might be then you're gonna go ahead and put that in there and you will literally just edit it there until you get the perfect lighting you want it to pop you don't want it to be completely whited out but you want it to pop because in that crowd of pictures something has to stand out now both of those apps are free, however, you can choose to pay for them monthly and you get more options. I do pay for Facetune for more options, I do not pay for Lightroom for more options. It has just the basics and that's all I really need. Step three, so in number three, you are going to be taking that photo, that beautifully edited photo, whichever one you've decided, and you're going to put it in your app. I'm going to show you two different apps. One I used previously and the one that I use now. So the one I used previously is Phone Toe. Phone Toe? Phonoto? Not really sure how to pronounce it, but here it is right here. P-H-O-N-T-O. -O. It is 100% free. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start recording my screen so I can show you guys an example of how I use that. Just a quick one. Okay, so I go into my app and it's a clear grid. So you hit the camera in the middle and you're going to do plain image. 
Then you're going to select this black one or the white one, whichever you prefer. I like the black because I can see it better. It just is easier to see on the eye. You go up here to the top middle where you see the size and hit custom. Now, most of us know, but I will let you know, the size for a thumbnail is width 1280, height 720. You want that to be the exact size. If it isn't, it won't fit, it'll stretch too far, it'll look grainy, it'll mess up the pixels, so just make sure you're doing it at that exact size, 1280 by 720. So then you're gonna get this, which is the size of your um, thumbnail. You're gonna hit this little square at the top right with the arrow, and you're gonna put use and save. The reason I say save it is because you can use it at a later date. So then you'll come over here to the three menus, and you're gonna hit add image. So I'm going to go in here to my recents, I suppose, and I will pick, let's do this one. This is a pretty photo. So I picked this photo and I hit done at the right hand corner. I don't use any of those other options. As you can see, it winds up being extremely small and not the right size. So I make it as big as possible. And then what I do was I'll bring it over here so I can see the actual size of the thumbnail, which is the black square. And this is also why I make it black and the actual part of my photo. So that way I can see where I want it lined up, where I w if I want my head in there more, or if I want my body in there more. And it's just easier than trying to guess when it's behind here how far up and down it is. So, I usually get a decent amount of head in there because that is my main focus obviously is my makeup so my body my shoulders and all that are really not that important as long as I get that shot of my makeup or whatever I'm holding so for instance this is the ColourPop brush so I want that to stand out so I don't want to cut that out so I'm gonna go ahead to the bottom right hand corner and hit the square and arrow and instead of hitting save we're gonna hit preview so we can see what it looks like perfect so that is the size I need it stands out it's bright it's beautiful good to go. So you tap it, go back to that same arrow and square, and then you're going to hit save image as PNG. Saved successfully is perfect. You're going to get an ad because this is a free app. So then you're going to go back into that middle camera. You're going to go into photo albums. You'll go to your recents, and then you're going to pick that photo and you're going to hit done. Now it's the perfect size of the thumbnail. So now this is where you can start editing, where you put text. So you have the font, you have presets if you select them, symbols, which are just like your regular emojis, you can add those actually in with your text. So alignment of your text, and I usually do center, or I do left, I never do right. So right here I'll put ColourPop brush review. Obviously you want your title or you want what's on your thumbnail to be something that pops. Do not take your entire title and put that on your thumbnail. Too many words, too much noise. Again, keep it clean, clear, and to the point, but stand out. So color pop br brush review. Or you could put, oh my god, I can't even. Or what the F color pop. Or something that's going to draw people's eyes like, oh crap, the T. Or oh crap, this is about to be a really good review. Something like that. So today for just easy purposes. We're going to do ColourPop brush review. You can either do all caps or you can, or at least I would capitalize each word that you're putting as the title. So hit done. I always come out here before I do font just to see kind of how I like it. So I go to font and my favorite in this app is Oswald Bold and I will hit that and then style. So style allows you to change how you look at her, how it looks, the color, the stroke of it, so say you want a pink stroke and you want to widen it, or say you want a background instead, so if you want like a square like this, we'll go here so you can see it, and then we can go size like that. If you don't like that, then go back to style, go back to stroke here, we're going to go background, and we're going to do... <laughs> so we're going to get rid of that background, okay, and then we're going to go to stroke, which you can see there, it already is, we're going to hit done, and then that's just basically an outline, you can put it across there, just make sure whatever color you use, 
um, or whatever you make it, it pops out, it's nice and clear what your point is, and it's not covering anything important. Obviously, you don't want to cover your face, the product you're trying to show, and you don't want to really want to go across your head. I don't like that. I don't know why some people do that. I do not prefer it. Please don't go across your face, at least. So make sure it's big enough to see because if it's this small, guess what? People aren't going to see it on YouTube. They're going to scroll right by it. So you want it to be big, but don't make it extra. If it goes over this photo, it's going to not show up on your thumbnail. So then I would put it here, and then I like to do like a teaser. So I'll go to my emojis, and I'll either go like, oh my gosh, or like I'll do like this or something just to kind of get them curious as to what exactly is going on. So I'll make that a little bit bigger. And then there you have it. I have the text that is showing what I'm trying to display or what I'm trying to draw people in for. So a review of ColourPop brushes. You have the photo of me using the brush. So I hold, I won't hold up all of them sometimes. Sometimes I'll hold up like four or five, but I don't hold up every single thing that's in the video. So if I do a haul, I'm not gonna hold up every single thing I got in the haul because then guess what? They've seen it in the thumbnail. They don't need to see the video. So basically you just put something like that, like a teaser. This is what this is. It is a teaser basically of what they're getting. So make it nice, make it fun, make it pretty, make it stand out. And then always emojis, but not too many emojis. And again, some people will like save photos and add like photos of like Sephora or the eyeshadow palette they're doing or something like that. And that's fine. You can do that just for personal preference. I do not prefer that. I think that it's kind of, it's just a lot of noise going on around you and it kind of takes from the actual thumbnail. It just looks like too much for me. So I just don't do that. So then you're going to go ahead to the right, the bottom right. And again, you're going to hit save image as PNG. So now you have the image in your photo gallery and now it is a perfect thumbnail size, which is 1280 by 720. And when you go to your YouTube, I don't really have a YouTube video right now to upload it to, but then you would just simply upload that thumbnail to your YouTube and it looks perfect, it fits perfect, you don't have any issues. If you guys want more on how I actually physically step-by-step -step upload a video, go ahead and comment below and I will get that out to you as well. And if you want any tips or ideas on how I edit my photos for Instagram, then go ahead and also comment that below and I will get those up to you. I am doing the best I can to get these YouTuber, I guess, like helpful advice up as often as possible without over like flooding my YouTube channel because that is not like my niche so it's not really what I'm here for but I really do love helping you guys so if you need the help it's here but they'll kind of be sporadic or spread out through my videos. So that's it for that thumbnail. Now we're going to go into the second app that I currently use right now. Again that app was 100% free. You can do everything you need to do but you're limited because it doesn't have like all the bells and whistles. There are a lot of things that it can do. It just can't do everything. And again, there are different um, things that you can do to edit your words on there. The style, I didn't show you everything. The underline, the bolding, the shadow, all the text editing is all in there. You can tilt the words if you want it like on the corner. Sometimes I do. I prefer it over here on the corner so it's not in the way, but it stands out. And again, put color. If you're just using white letters, I've done it before, it just is very bland and it doesn't draw the eye. So I would definitely put some color in there to help it stand out just a little bit more. So we're gonna go to the second app. Now the second app is called Canva. This app costs money but is also free. So I feel like if you use the free one and not the premium, you don't really get as many cool options. Canva can be used on the computer, on your iPad, and on your phone. I prefer to use it on the computer. Most of the time I will use it on the computer, at least on my iPad, onto actual canva.com instead of the app because the app will look much smaller than it actually looks on the actual thumbnail. So I'll think it's like this big, but when the thumbnail gets posted, it's like actual full size and really looks good. But it kind of messes with my eyes. So if you have the option to go onto canva.com, whether it be on a iPad or on your computer, then I do recommend that. But if not, you can always use the app. So you have three different options with this one app. But, so we're gonna go ahead in here and I'm going to record this one as well. So we're gonna go ahead in here to Canva. I'm gonna use the app just for easier purposes of recording it on my phone screen. And most people will wanna do it on their phone, maybe not on a computer. So if you look up here at the top, Create new design. You have custom dimensions, Instagram posts, Instagram story, Facebook posts, flyers, invitations, social media, 
business cards, God, you have everything, Twitter posts, YouTube channel art. So that's another thing if you need help on how to make a channel art, then go ahead and comment below and I will show you how I do mine. Facebook event cover. So they really have a lot of stuff. The only one thing they don't have is the um, YouTube thumbnail. So you go to custom dimension and then you're gonna also do 1280 by 720. So it's going to give you that automatic square. You don't have to save anything. So you can tap the background to edit. Now you can change the color of your background if you want and then just add like a photo in there. So like images, it's a premium thing. So like say I want, hmm, let's do this one. I don't know what just happened, but okay, we're just gonna go on with this. But you could do images, you could do colors, you could do filter, like there's so much more that you can do. I don't recommend doing a filter just because you do want whatever you're doing, makeup wise or creation wise, to stand out true to color. I am 110% against over editing to where I am no longer understanding what you're doing or to you're deceiving me and how the actual look looks like this. That's way too vibrant. We know that that's not what it looks like and as soon as I hit that video, it's not gonna look like that, I'm gonna back out. So I always recommend true to color, no filters, unless it's to brighten or darken, shadows, highlights, and all that. So that is the photo I picked. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can go to camera roll if you wanna change it, um, but we're gonna stick to well, there. So you can do the plus sign in the right. You can do text, you can do images to put an image over it. So let's say I want to do this image then look so this is how you can get like the Sephora eyeshadow palettes and all that so I'm going to delete that which is at the top and you have an undo button at the top you have a menu you have a download and upload a play if it's a video but it's not so images you could put a video in there illustration is going to be like anything like this but I like to do this brush stroke and then you can literally use those as like backgrounds for text. Put it over here and then I would go to add and I'm gonna add another element and then I usually do add my own text. All right, let's do something different. So let's do something eye-catching. Colourpop, stop. So hit done. You can go over here to the left and literally there are so many different fonts. If you don't have premium, the ones with the crowns you cannot use. So I'm going to show you guys the free one just for purposes that you guys, if you want to have free, you will. I don't want to show you the ones that are not because if you decide not to purchase it, then you're like, well, crap, I don't know what I really want to do. You want something legible. Something like this is not going to be legible. Like it's pretty and all. It's just not legible and that turns it sideways. So we're going to go here. I'm going to make it white so it stands out. So this changes the color, done. But see how hard that is to read? You want something that's gonna be easy to read. So I wonder if they have Oswald in here. That's the one I love, I just love that one. Okay, so they do have Oswald. They don't have Oswald bold, but that's okay. So then you can put it like here, and then you have that, and like I kind of made it a little bit bigger so it looks like it's kind of like overdrawn. And then you can obviously change the alignment left, right, center, bold it if you want, unbold it. Sometimes you can or cannot make it italicized. I think I said that right. And then you can right there, stop is where I usually stop unless I want to put an emoji. But there are so many other options. So you have shapes, stickers, logos, templates, pages. So you can add another page to it, but it's unnecessary to do that for us because you only need one thumbnail. So we're going to go here and I'm going to do templates because that's always something that is possible to do. So you'll go through. Say you see a template you like and you're like, hmm, that's pretty, that'll be pretty. And so then you do replace just this one time. Sorry about the ads I'm getting. You could delete these elements. So delete group. So delete and delete. So say you just like that background, right? And you kind of want to just have that as your thing and then you just make it bigger. So that way you kind of just have it or like say you want to do something really really cute and artsy 
something like that and like you just literally decorate it however you want but when I tell you so then you sit here at the top right save image as it's gonna prepare your design it does take just a moment longer than the other app your your design is saved now when you do it on the computer I do have to pause and say you do have to view the download right click and save it however when it's on your phone it goes right to your camera roll so we're gonna go to our home page and here's all your designs. You're able to do all of your designs. So I did that one for an IG story, that one for an IG story. Here's another thumbnail I did recently, a get ready with me. And then these I didn't make. Oh, I guess I did a long time ago. J Beauty, I don't even go by that one anymore. So there's a bunch of different ones. You can make those little, you know those cute little um, Instagram story archives, whatever they are that come across the bottom. Um, you can make those so in the circle it shows just that. Um, I've made so many things on here. I make my overlay so when I go, hey guys, welcome to my channel, or hey guys, welcome back to my video, I'm Jamie B, da 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 da, and you see all this pop up over here? That was made through here. I can make it with a transparent background. So again, if there's any other tips or anything that you see in my video that may pop up or whatever, if you have questions, ask me down below and I will totally show you how to do it or at least tell you how to do it. If you don't want a whole video on it, I can 100% just tell you how to do it. So then we're gonna go back and the plus sign is to create. And literally there's so many different things that you can do in here for a thumbnail. It's not even funny. There's so many different options. Here's your YouTube channel art. I would just be careful because they're probably very similar and you don't wanna have one that's like 100% similar to everybody else. So with that being said, that is how I use Canva and then obviously it will save it to my photos and I'll come in here and here it is ready to upload. It is the 1280 by 720 clear, beautiful, add words if you want to, add little photos if you want to, anything that you would prefer on it. So those are the two major apps that I use. I know that you there are options to resize photos on the internet. I do not recommend them. Just download an app or go online if you can. Go to the library if you have to. But when you resize an, a picture from a bigger picture to a smaller picture, it condenses it and it really messes up the pixel and the quality of the photo. Again, please do not take screenshots of your video and try to crop it that way. I don't understand why people do that because if you have a phone, you should probably just take the photos since you're sitting right there in front of your phone. Um, so I just don't get that. I don't screenshot it. It makes it just very noisy, very messy, and you don't want that. Again, guys, the major, major, major 110% thing of your video. You could literally have crap through your whole video, but if your thumbnail is bad, most people are not going to click on it unless they're already subscribed to you and they know that you're good. Unless they're subscribed to you and they know what it's about. But if it's a crap thumbnail and you're mixed in with thousands of other creators, you're not going to stand out. So you want to stand out. You want to have good quality. You want to have words or emojis or something. Don't just have a picture of you on there and don't just take your title and plop it on there because you want it to stand out differently because they can see your title. You know, they're not looking at that. A photo is going to catch your eye first. Now, a lot of people to say to pick a different background, like a backdrop or something other than white, because YouTube is a white background and you don't really stand out that way. So that's really personal preference to me. I feel like I have never really had that issue. I just ask that you don't have a lot of noise in the background. So say you record in front of your bookshelf, um, but you're not like your channel isn't about like books or anything crazy like that. Uh, then maybe take a photo in front of the window with a blank background just because you don't want anything else to be drawn out like you don't want their eye to go anywhere else but to you and what you're doing so make sure you just the quality of that photo is the number one most important thing the number one the lighting of it the quality of it that's what's gonna stand out that's what's gonna grab people's attention and that's how you're gonna get views so if you want more views you want more people to click on your stuff make it interesting make them want to know what that video is about and the first way you get to do that is through your thumbnail and through your title so that is it for today's video guys I hope you really got some information out of it I will always put down the information down below just a quick brief one over so you know the apps and the websites that I use as 
always, guys, I hope this really helped you. I hope that you got some good information from it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, if you're missing something, if you didn't understand something, then comment below. I will get that information to you. And as always, you can reach out to me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and just DM me or message me and I will message you back and we can have a conversation about whatever you didn't understand in the video. So I love you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.